Our project focuses on modeling Alzheimer's disease in genetically modified C. elegans strains. Our advisor is Ms. Trong, and our research members are Kushi, Francis, Stani, Simran, Arnav, and Shubhala. Alzheimer's disease is a progressive disease where dementia symptoms worsen over time. There are two types, early onset Alzheimer's disease, which is less common, and it affects people under the age of 65 years, and it generally has genetic causes. There's also late onset Alzheimer's disease, which affects people over the age of 65 years, and is more common. Alzheimer's disease as a whole affects around 50 million people worldwide, and it's more common in women than in men. Major symptoms are a loss of memory and cognitive function, an inability to plan and perform tasks, and changes in behavior and personality. Current treatments include cholinesterase inhibitors to improve memory, antipsychotics and therapy to stabilize behavior, and alternatives such as home remedies and vitamins, which are easier to access, to access but less regulated by the FDA. The AB aggravation typically starts in the subiculum region of the brain, which affects memory. This excites the neurons, which has been found to give positive feedback, thereby elevating AB aggravation. This impairs synaptic transmission, and thus neurons lose connection with other neurons. Slowly, AB aggregation spreads to the cerebral cortex that is responsible for cognition and social behavior. In C. elegans, after A beta production, A beta can either degrade after being relocated by the endoplasmic reticulum to remove misfolded proteins. Similarly, the natural function of autophagy could degrade AB. On the other hand, some unintended deposits of AB could cause oxidative stress. What are polyphenols and their effect on our project? Well, first, polyphenols are natural products found in fruits, vegetables, seeds, and oils, among others. They're split by their structure into six main categories, including curcuminoids, which is the class used in our project. They have strong antioxidant power and other properties that cause them to have a beneficial impact on preventing neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's. So far, 44 polyphenols have been found to have a positive impact on inhibiting AB aggregation. Furthermore, an article by NIH analyzed 24 studies, two of which were on curcumin, the polyphenol we're using in our project, and supports a potential positive effect on reducing AB aggregation. C. elegans are a transparent roundworm essential for research to induce traits needed. They're used to model diseases like Alzheimer's. Some pros of C. elegans are that it contains the APP gene, the TAU homolog, has a neural system, and is transparent for easy observation. Some cons of C. elegans are that it doesn't contain B. secretase. The transgenes aren't fully integrated into its genome. There can be overexpression, and its neural system is very simplistic. Our two wild-type strains are N2WT and CL2122, which has no AB immunoreactivity. Our two mutant strains are CL2120, which has AB aggregation in the muscle cells, whereas CL2355 has aggregation in the neurons. C. elegans are classified based on their larval stages to prepare for assays. The L3 and L4 stages are normally what we are looking for. We will be running assays to test the associated memory of C. elegans. In chemotaxis, the C. elegans are starved and then given food in plates with butanol. This causes the C. elegans to form an association between the food and the smell of butanol. We will then place the C. elegans on another plate where there will be a neutral substance and butanol. Using the equation for chemotaxis index, which looks at how many C. elegans move towards the butanol, we can test how long their associative memory lasts. Short-term associative assay will use chemotaxis to test their memory for up to two hours, and long-term associative assay will use chemotaxis to test their long-term memory for up to 40 hours. We hypothesize that the N2WT C. elegans will have the greatest chemotaxis index, and strains with AB neurons will have the lowest chemotaxis index since the amyloid beta aggregation will affect their memory. Amyloid beta aggregation in muscle cells and neurons can result in lowered chemotaxis and paralysis. When amyloid beta aggregates in muscle cells of C. elegans, decreased mobility, muscle integrity, and lifespan can occur. When amyloid beta aggregation occurs in the neurons of C. elegans, Lowered short-term associative memory and lowered long-term associative memory can occur, as well as neurodegeneration, disruptions in bilayer permeability, as well as a loss of protein function. In the future, we're planning on testing gamma secretase modulators, as well as polyphenolic compounds such as curcumin on amyloid beta aggregation in our C elegans. We'd like to thank our advisor, Ms. Trong, and ANSDRP.